Hey guys, we're back here with Claire and Owen, and you guys are here to talk about a uh, performance that's happening tonight and tomorrow night, first in Butte, then in Missoula's Music Recital Hall. And this is part of a month-long uh, celebration of the Irish culture here in Missoula. That's right. So let's talk a little bit about this. What can people uh, expect from these concerts? Well, they can expect some very established and uh, well-recognized Irish musicians that are the top of their game. They really are well known. And um, we're delighted because at the UM Irish Studies program, we bring in as part of the curriculum um, really good musicians. And we offer it to our community and to the students at the university who are doing Irish studies. And then we couple that with taking them into the communities of Missoula and Butte to perform locally. And we also had a master class mm -hmm. over at Hellgate High School yesterday morning with Owen O'Reavik, who oh. is a piper, an Illin piper, and a pipe maker. Oh, what is a, what is a piper? A piper. Um, a piper is, I suppose, by definition, a fellow who plays pipes. Um, I play an Irish pipe, which is called an Illin pipe. It's called Illin because Illin is the Irish for an elbow. Oh. So you pump, you pump these pipes rather than blow them like the Scottish pipes. So, um, other than that, a piper is generally speaking, an ordinary kind of a person, really. Cool. Yeah. So, didn't they used to make the, uh, the, the sacks where you put the air in um, out of a uh, sheep's stomach or something like that? Yeah, the bag, rather than the billows, yeah, the bag where the, where the, the air is stored for supplying the, the rest of the, the mm -hmm. pipe, yeah, that's, that was used, to, it used to be pigs bladders and stuff wow. like that, yeah, yeah. And now it's, it kind of seems like every time I see it, it's like really velvet, very, uh, very pretty. Yeah, it went through a period where, where the, the, um, the covers for the, both the billows and, and the um, bag were covered in, in, in kind of um, velvet and, and trims and stuff like that, generally in, in green to promote the Irish thing, you know. Yeah. But that can't seem to stop again. It was, it, it generally now people just expose the leather, you know, just leave the leather showing. Cool. And um, so Claire, you um, you with Treylock along with the Irish Studies program, um, you do this every two years. That's correct. And this is a way for you guys to uh, basically uh, conserve funding so you guys can bring musicians from Ireland yes. um, to perform for this basically the whole month of March, it seems like. We're so blessed because to have musicians of this caliber is, I mean, these are w world renowned in their field. It's traditional Irish music and it's, it's, uh, it's so deeply embedded in Irish culture and it's handed from one generation to the next. When we had Danny O'Mahony here, he was talking about the music men and, and how there were certain people in the villages and towns of Ireland that were recognised and, and that was their field. And it goes and it's given from father to son to grandson and it's a beautiful thing. And this is part of what we're trying to focus on. We're doing a lot with Irish culture, but it's so nice to be able to say, we're bringing this over, it's something unique, and we're sharing it with the community and hoping that that will encourage people to look at these studies and see that there's, it's not just history or, you know, literature or Irish dance and, and Irish language. There's the musical and social component to it as well. So they're constantly learning and then they go back to Ireland and they see and experience it in the home country. And it's a fantastic exchange of talent and skill. So is this your first time here in Missoula? No, I've been here before. I, I was here in 2011, I think, on the same program. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. So uh, was that, the, so this is your, how many times have you been to Missoula? Well, Missoula, twice. This is my second time. Wow, what do you think? Yeah, oh, it's fabulous. I just <laughs> love Montana, you know. I've been around all over the States through the years, but Montana has a, a special special place in my heart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people really like the kind of like the being nestled in the mountains. There's, it's like it's open perfect, space, yeah. but at the same time you feel like you're protected by yeah. all the mountains around. Yeah, yeah, and the people are great here. I, mean, yeah. I love the people there as well. Yeah. And uh, Butte, it's always, that's uh, such a big place for Irish culture as well, yeah. because yeah. They're, the Irish um, um, St. Patrick's Day in Butte is renowned in Montana for sure, in Butte of all places. <laughs> And uh, Butte, it, it, like I've had, I've known people who go to Butte all the time for the St. Patrick's Day, and of course this these events are kind of like leading up to it. But also, it doesn't just end after St. Patrick uh, after St. Patrick's Day. You also have other events as well that you also want to bring some more people on later as well. Yes, yes, we have um, another concert coming up on the twenty third 
in Butte on the 24th, and it will be at 7.30 p.m. Again, it's at the, in Butte, the Montana Tech Library Auditorium, and in Missoula, the UM Recital Hall. And it'll be another famous musician, Liam Wainley, who would be a traditional, but also contemporary, um, would have competed in Ireland in his teens, and plays Bowron, Tin mm. Whistle, uh, piano and sings Shan Nose and, and contemporary stuff. So he's a, a great, wonderful person. So we're very happy to be welcoming him. And that will finish then the UM Springtime Music Series for cool. this year. But of course, tonight, tomorrow night, you're performing. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Are you ready? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Look, we look forward to it. How long um, are these programs? Um, I think about an hour and a half. That's right. Each one, yeah, yeah. Are you doing it all by yourself? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I came over on my own um, in 2011 thinking I was doing it on my, my own, but I met a guy called Eric Hutchins who is a, a local music teacher oh. here. He's a great musician and, and really catches on really quickly to the music and stuff. So we did a few gigs together last time and he's going to be with me this, this year as well. All right, so you guys can check him out um, in Butte at the Library um, Auditorium at the uh, Montana Tech College. Um, 7.30 to 9 tonight, uh -huh. and then of course, if you want to go to Butte and you want to stay in Missoula, tomorrow night at the UM Recital Hall from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Yes, and I'd like to thank a couple of people because yeah. this is a program that's uh, very much community-based and community-supported. So we have the Friends of Irish Studies in the West, who have always been uh, kind of spearheading this activity. And then we also have the uh, Fulbright Commission, who helped to send Irish scholars to us to teach Irish language. And we have the consulate over in San Francisco that's been instrumental. Um, so we're very grateful to all of these um, institutions for helping us out, and the people of Missoula for coming out and supporting. And please come to the concerts. Also, there's a bunch of stuff happening on St. Patrick's Day. Right. Come out, come downtown. You know, see the parade, uh, do the carousel rides, which are free. Come and taste whiskey at the Rhino Bar, and okay. you know we have to do that. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. will not regret it. And come to the banquet. We have a gathering of Irish and Irish American folk. We'll have Irish dance, Irish music, Irish students, and we'll have great food and fun. Great. So it'll be a feast. So please come out for Owen and come out for St. Patrick's Day, and then also for Liam. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. And you guys can check these guys out. Um, there's a recital happening tonight and tomorrow night, two weeks from today. St. Patrick's Day is next weekend, so there's definitely a lot going on in terms of Irishness. And if you want any tickets, try friendsofirishstudies.com online. Mm -hmm. There's Rock and Rudy's. We love Rock and Rudy's. We have in Butte, then Granite Mountain Bank and the Kavanaugh County Celtic will sell tickets as well. And at the door. Don't not come because you don't have the ticket. Come, yep. just come. Come yep. out and support it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.